Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Roseanne refuses to go down quietly, takes aim at her enemy she's taking down with her. Roseanne Barr has always been a very outspoken Hollywood actress. She's known for her amazing role as Roseanne Connor on her hit 90s TV series Roseanne. ABC decided to bring back the show right where it left off, but with a conservative feel. This was intentional. Hollywood is starting to understand that the majority of people that watch their network are middle-class Americans who are just trying to make it to the next paycheck to pay bills. After the 2016 presidential elections, ABC felt they needed to get in touch with middle-class America by revamping the hit series. The first episode had to be spectacular. Roseanne came on with arms swinging defending President Trump to her sister Jackie Harris who wore a pea hat as she walked in the front door. Right then and there the comeback had become a success. This was short-lived, like we all knew it would be. Recently, Roseanne made a very offensive remark on Twitter about former Obama adviser Valerie Jarrett. Doesn't seem too bad, does it? It's really not, and let me explain to you why. Roseanne was making a simple remark that had looked like a character from Planet of the Apes, and was referring to her Muslim upbringing. What's wrong with that? To millions of Americans, nothing. It was a simple joke that the politically correct in Hollywood took completely out of context, and has then accused Roseanne of tweeting a very offensive racist remark. Let's be real. Yes, it was a little offensive, but it was also funny. She's a comedian. What more do you expect? Every single day you hear Hollywood's elitist left constantly bad-mouthing President Trump calling him horrible names, and making up fake news stories to try and crush any hope that President Trump is doing a damn good job. There is a huge double standard here. Bill Maher can go on his show, and make fun of Sarah Palin's son with Down syndrome. He's called plenty of conservative women beaches, and has attacked Melania Trump several times. Kathy Griffin literally held up a bloodhead that represented President Trump being beheaded. It took some time, but she was eventually blacklisted. It didn't last long. Today, Griffin is out doing her comedy tour and has yet to actually be held accountable by the mainstream media. Time after time there have been so many vulgar things said about conservatives on live TV and television sitcoms. Yet, no one is held accountable. Roseanne has had enough of the holier-than-thou elitist in Hollywood. She's now lashing back out at everyone including her co-stars. A day after she apologized for a racist tweet comparing former key Obama aide Valerie Jarrett to an ape, Roseanne Barr is lashing out against her Roseanne colleagues who denounced her on Twitter. Roseanne was canceled on Tuesday after Barr's tweet went viral. Barr's former co-star Michael Fishman, who played her son DJ Connor on Roseanne, said he condemned Barr's tweet about Jarrett and said he was devastated by the show's cancellation. He said he was especially disappointed because the show embraced inclusivity. Barr responded, I created the platform for that inclusivity and you know it dot me. You throw me under the bus. Nice. Fishman wrote back, you fought, built, and designed Roseanne for inclusiveness. That is why yesterday was so out of character with the last 30 years. It was in your hands from the beginning to the end. No one can deny that. Barr asked him to leave her alone. CBS. Barr also hit back at former co-star Sarah Gilbert, who played her daughter Darlene Connor on the show. Gilbert wrote that Barr's comments about Jared were abhorrent and do not reflect the beliefs of our cast and crew or anyone associated with our show. I am disappointed in her actions to say the least. Barr wrote back, Wow! Unreal! Washington, President Trump acknowledged on Wednesday the furor over a racist Twitter post made by Roseanne Barr, but focused on an apology issued by ABC instead of the offensive content of the television star's remarks. It was the first time the president, who previously had called Ms. Barr to congratulate her on the success of her sitcom's reboot, had weighed in on the fallout over her Twitter post. New York Times That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.